real world images can be used in quick polls. Uh, it's oftentimes probably a good idea to have the quick poll prepared in advance and then start the poll and suddenly on the student screens appear um, an engaging quick poll where they can interact with that. Uh, let's say three. Well, look at that. Um, that looks like a nice y-intercept minus uh, x and at first they're like mm, not quite the right slope let's make it a little steeper 1.2 and um, let's go back to the teacher to the navigator as soon as they press enter then we will see boom that um, oh we see a correct answer and that is one of the correct answers if you click just a, a way down here at the bottom then we'll get a graph and it's updating it um, automatically if the student were to change that um, number to a 2 th and press enter then we see um, now their answer is wrong um, it lines up quite nicely with it but there, there's that answer and here's the uh, accepted answers the uh, correct answers real world images let's take a look at some other uh, real world images on quick polls so the next one I have prepared is um, a guitar and on it says the blank or blank is the standard unit for frequency of sound and this is an open response type of question where if we stop that last poll and started this one then on the screen would appear um, quite an interesting looking guitar oh that's so crisp on my screen and the student types in something like capital H Z for Hertz and they can submit that um, they could also um, accidentally press the home button and it's they think it's gone away but press C and they get it back again um, it's not um, actually on these it is a good idea to submit it press dock or click right there where the quick pull is and you can submit it and then here comes the another type of question Ooh, let's go back to documents and here comes oh how about this one that I've almost prepared can demonstrate how to insert an image. Um, so it says um, click to to drop a point in the third quadrant. Well, instead of just having the you know first, second, third quadrant, how about we um, insert an image? Um, what you need to do is you need to click over here, make sure you're clicked over there. And in fact, um, you could just paste copy um, from the clipboard and paste a little map on here, and then we can. Uh, send that to the students and let's take a look at at their screen for this one so it's thinking about it and appears right there and all I have to do is move their little cursor around to the third quadrant click and now they've placed a point in the third quadrant and the teacher can mark that correct um, also the teacher can um, look and see that the point right here it might be a nice idea to uh, individualize the student responses so they appear in a nice little bright color that student could actually um, click it control click grab that point and the teacher could say okay let's um, move to the first quadrant um, the first quadrant will where broad ripple village is and then they would move up there and so forth so Real-world images are lots of fun for math and science.